make sure this is clean. I've already cleaned it once with denatured alcohol. Lapping compound again. Seems like There's a little bit like that and get some in here and some on the shaft here. Don't think we have the lashing on there right, but eight millimeter. Just remove the coil temporarily so we can have free turn here. both the flywheel and this. Once again, you have to get 100% of this stuff off. This ain't nothing to mess around with. Any of that gets in your motor, your motor's dead. This needs to be set to three th uh, thousandths of an inch valve lash. You're gonna look down here under the hole where the piston is and get top dead center. And once you're top dead center, you're gonna set the valve lash into three, one, th three thousandths of an inch. Idea is that's gonna put that down in there. That's way too much there. Okay, so the three thousandths fits in, but the four thousandths doesn't. This is our starter, basically. <laughs> and that'll, you're gonna have to just keep a, put your body weight down on it. One, two. Well, I'm looking at this coil and it looks like the kill switch is removable or whatever, that little thing there can be taken off. I have never known that. And see, this is all, this here is just external stuff that's on there. So a lot of that could just be taken straight on off. And well, listen, disclaimer. Run your motor with a kill switch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Run your motor with a kill switch. Okay, so in order to get the 30 thousandths, I have to take 20 thousandths and 10 thousandths. Put them together, that makes 30. Gasket time. Porting on that is very odd. This gasket fits on the carburetor like that, so in that orientation. Come on. Uh, Venturi stack, let me explain these Venturi stacks. Venturi effect, uh, I gotta look at the scientific definition, you know, air pressure. When you're gonna take air and put it through a tube, and it's gonna accelerate which means you're gonna get more air in, which means you can put more fuel, which means you can get more horsepower. There's a Venturi in, in this carburetor. You may not be able to see that, let's see. But the fact that you have atmospheric pressure here and it's going to go into this tube, the air pressure measured here is a lot higher. So the air is gonna accelerate. Well, guess what you're doing? You're adding a stack here, this Venturi stack. Man, come on. Mr. Venturi, I like to call him, you're accelerating it even more now. So you're going instead of from, it's like a staged effect. So you go from atmospheric pressure to this pressure here into this cone shape down into here. So it becomes almost like a ram, a ram uh, effect. Uh, k and air filter oil. Slip it on, make sure it's flush, and then just tighten it down with Okay, this only fits on one way as well, and it fits perfectly. Just right down on there. It's the Andre X pipe, mud motor pipe. Gotta remember how the heck I had it on here. Okay, 
about to get rid of this guy. It's been nothing but a problem since I've had it. Fuel line, fuel delivery is simple. It's just gravity fed. I'm gonna put that back down into that clip. Run that guy back down over the nipple. And make sure you put that ground back on here on the case. This is coming off the coil. That's going to here. And from here, it's splitting to the on off switch up here to this, whatever that thing is. And from here, this open wire will go down to the ground. All right, guys, here's the uh, boot. Folks, we got a motor. Okay, guys, so remember, OMB Warehouse are the ones who chipped in to make this possible, along with some of the contri contributions from you guys. But OMB chipped in $318 worth of parts to make this build happen. If you want to know what the part numbers are, check the description below because it depends on whether you have the Hemi series or the non-Hemi series of the 212 Predator. It depends on what part you get. That's why I'm not trying to give out part numbers during the video. So check them out. You can buy it from there. Tell them Damon sent you or tell them that you got heard about it from Black Warrior Lures. And that helps us out because we're trying to build a relationship there. All right. Uh, I will talk to you guys later.